time is 10.07 a.m. Shall we start our reef maintenance? Have a great day. what's good people and welcome back to the channel so today guys is my day off it's like 11 o'clock now and i'm doing a, sh a short video for you guys just to tell you guys what's going on with the pico reef so as of late um i tested my alkalinity a couple of couple of days ago i believe it was last week and have been testing throughout just you know just to make sure i got time why not and um, my alkalinity was testing at 6.5 now for me that is too low for any reef system regardless of it being a pico so i said that i need to find something i could start maybe dosing or try to help with with the alkalinity within the system now this is all for reef and it is about 125 milliliters in there and I'll, I'll explain to you guys what i've done using this and the pico tank people say it's a bit ott but i think it's just going to be something to just help me along because i do forget and i'm quite busy and i just need something to just keep this pico reef looking happy and plus i've got sps corals in there so this should do the trick after reading um, a, lot, a lot of reviews about this <coughs> all for reef is meant to be like a really good um, all-in-one solution for maintaining calcium um, kh and magnesium and other elements now just just because it's a pico reef i don't believe that well in my opinion water changes will you know maintain everything it needs to maintain so on the website it says that i need to dose 0.5 milliliters every day into the reef now for me to sit down with a syringe every day to do 0.5 that's a long thing yeah so what i did was i actually diluted 125 milliliters yeah so 0 0.5 um every day so i times that by four with, dilute, with dilution which gives me gives me about two milliliters a day so i put that on a one channel uh, wi-fi doser um and then that's been you know installed onto the pico i know it's a bit ott but it just you know for me, it's just that peace of mind, ensuring the cage is up and the animals are happy in there and everything um, can grow and do its thing. Right guys, so this is the uh, Wi-Fi dose I've been telling you about. So it is uh, about a year, year and a half old and I just had it in storage. And I, th I thought like, you know, let me just use this thing rather than just sit in there and just gathering dust. So this is uh, the Corabox uh, Wi-Fi dose and uh, it's a good little doser and it can dose accurately up to something like 0 0.01 mil or 0 0.2 mil, I'm not too sure but very accurate and I've used this before to dose amino acids into my larger system. Now this two milliliters I do, I do one at 8 a.m. and one at 8 p.m. of all for reef. Now I diluted all for reef with um, RDI water so that brings me up to you know 0.5 milliliters times four which is two milliliters a day so this was the syringe I was, I was using earlier and you know 0.5 mil every day yeah that's that's just long so get rid of that so what I did was I used your force bottle yeah um, this is 800 milliliters so um, I just you know done the ratio and just put it in there I've got a non-return valve just to ensure that you know the air is being sucked in nothing out or you know there's no air bubbles and the pressure is maintained in there and some acrylic tube and i'm sure you guys have seen how these are constructed if not um just let me know guys i will do a little construction video for you guys as well and they actually have a little um like a bulk um connector at the top here where you know the um tubing connects to now for all my dosing setups on my larger tank and on this tank i will always use airline yeah say to me like why airline because it's rigid doesn't kink yeah look at that it's got flex no kinking i found the silicone um i just did not like it and i always had issues with silicone especially when um, it had blockages and other things and i just think like you know airline just always worked for me i've always used the airline um what i did in this one here i use a little bit of silicone tubing that's because that the airline couldn't fit into the vast bottle i've got another non-return valve on here just to ensure that the pressure is maintained throughout the um the airline tubing going up to the dosing head and then out into the pico now because this is just a single dose i have the um airline or the dosing tube going through the bracket for the light 
and then it just drips into the rear chamber um, and then that gets mixed up and then sent back into the main display um, you know a lot, of, a lot of people say to me yeah that's a bit too much for a little tank like this but you know I, I got time and I just think you know maybe something I should try see how I get on and maybe if I am successful it's probably something you guys can try as well because Alpha Reef is quite easy it's literally an all-in-one solution for your KH and calcium and magnesium all a little trace element so I have um, a lot of LPS or some LPS and um, SPS in it so I'm just going the route of mixed reef tank and it seems to be working because these um, Goniporas they weren't opening up as you can see the cyan on there I need to sort that out um, they weren't opening up and since I started dosing this um, yeah they've been perking up and everything seems to be going really well even the little mushroom I have there um, it's um, getting really really um, opening out and encrusted and, and the acans are doing really well um, so I think this Ulfa Reef is a goal for me um, on this little Pico tank now my daughter was begging me for the whole Nemo combination in her Pico Reef so what I did was I got the tiniest bubble tip anemone I could find this thing was like it's tiny compared to um, what, you, what it can be so I said to her look let's just try to see if your clownfish will be hosted by this anemone and luckily yeah at night time the clownfish do sleep in there throughout the day they tend to just be around the tank now these clownfish and the anemone this is a temporary thing in this pea coral reef as these clownfish get bigger and the anemones get bigger i will be trying to find another home for them or taking them back to my local pet shop or local fish shop to have them swapped or sold on so this tank is no way um you know the right size for a fully grown clownfish is way too small so at the moment temporarily these will be in there happy as larry an enemy in there, happy as Larry. Um, what I want to do for her as well, get some more zoas, get something you know more colorful to put in there because a bit bit drab when it comes to, to the zoa side of things in a pico reef. Um, um, we have a, another, I don't know what this is, um, is it the, a, some sort of chalice um, showing encrusting since I started dosing all for reef. This thing has just been growing and growing. Yep, um, the mushrooms are doing fine and the A cans. Yep, really taking off as well. Um, I have some um, Forest Fire or Blue Monty. That's growing as well. That's doing really, really well. And also some um, this is Birds of Paradise, um, Seattopora, um, doing really well. Really well. The um, GSP in the back, yeah, yeah, that's just doing its thing. And the Hammer Coral, believe it or not, is one of the you know the coolest looking corals in, in this system. Not too sure about the skull. Um, she wants a skull, so just leave it in there. Um, but yeah, so that is an update on the Pico Reef. So this Alpha Reef, guys, um, just, you know, if you are going to use Alpha Reef for your Pico Reef or for any system, just give it a good read because it doses er like everything you need, iodine and um, all the other things. It's quite concentrated, hence me um, having to dilute it. So um, if you have a, a system, just go on their website. They will tell you how much you're supposed to be or the recommended amount you should be dosing within your system. For this Pico Reef, it's just under 12 liters, so it says 0 0.5. So I uh, times that by, like I said, by four of our DI water. That gave me uh, two milliliters a day. I did one in the morning, one in the evening. Yeah, and it seems to be doing the trick. Uh, so yeah, so that's it, people. So not much to say today. It's just all about Naira's Pico Reef. Um, dosing this all for roof stuff in there and it seems to be doing really well. I've been dosing for about a week. And all I could say is just, you know, oh God, the corals are looking wicked. And, um, you know, the main tank, it's doing okay, everything is going well. Um, those are for us. Like, I've done a video um, last week showing how I um, sort out my calcium levels to keep up with the uptake in the system, and that's going really, really well. Also, guys, make sure you check out hcaquatics.co.uk. So, it's a website that's created to buy and sell new and used reefing products. So, if you have any product that you want selling or you want promoting, you know, create an account and check out the website. Yeah, I also check out the HC Aquatics uh, reefing. Uh, Facebook page and check us out on Instagram. Yeah, this website was just created so that it makes it easier for everyone to trade and and you know just connect uh, reefing wise within the UK. So make sure you check it out. Right, so guys, this was a quick video and an update about the Pico Reef and what has been happening when I started to dose. I hope you guys can get information from um, you know what I explained about the Alpha Reef and the way I'm dosing on there. 
If not, just you know, check on their website and you'll explain everything you need to do if you decide to go that route. Yeah, it's not for everyone, it just makes my life a bit easier and it ensures that the corals are doing you know as best as they can really. Alright, so guys, thanks for watching. This is Narayan for HC Aquatic Reefing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time.